Sergeant Kenai here reporting for duty, and RimWorld is an interesting game that has a lot of things that you're able to do even being in early access. One of the things that popped into my mind was power. There's, there's three different ways to power your base. It's either through wind turbines, solar generators, or geothermal generators. And what popped in my mind is, hey, a lot of these things have different values and, and require, you know, different amounts of steel. And so I thought to myself, is any power better than the rest? Would one be the correct one that I should take? And, you know, it got me thinking. I decided to look up how much steel is required for each power source and how much each power source generates. The geothermal generator requires 400 steel the most out of all of them and produces 3,700 watts of power through the entire day. If you take that and divide it down, that means that 9.25 watts is generated for every single piece of steel used. Which, honestly, is not too bad, because it works through the entire day. It's one of the most reliable pieces of power that you can build on your base. However, they are very limited as they require steam generators, or steam vents. Solar power is next up, which requires 100 steel, but it only outputs 1700 watts of power, which means that 17 watts is used for every single steel in the generator, which is much better than the geothermal for watts, but the problem that comes up with solar generators is because it is only useful during the day, and uh, during the day, it's not always at full power because at the beginning of the day, it's, it has to you know, build up till it's when it's fully sunny and then when it's, the sun starts going down, it slowly loses power. So in reality, the true value is only about 8.5. Probably less than 8.5 because it's only activated throughout the daytime and night, not at all to the nighttime. The wind, however was actually very surprising to me. I was surprised at how much power that wind can generate. For only 100 steel, it generates 3,000 watts of power, and that means it makes, and that means it's 30 watts per steel, which by far is the most efficient out of all of them, but it only generates that much when it's at maximum power. The power varies wildly throughout the game, as it depends on winds, it depends if you got any trees in the way of your, your, your generators, and if you do, you have to make sure everything stays maintained. Now, it's very easy to do that by building, you know, some floors around it so no trees can grow in front of it, but you are going to have to deal with the varying wind of power. It can go from anywhere to 80 to 0 to 3,000 of power. And I mean, as long as you have batteries, tons of them, because when it goes up to 3,000 and you barely spent any of your steel, it's gonna generate a lot of damn power. It would probably be the most challenging one to actually play with, which I'm considering it. I've, I've, I've thought about it. I'm considering going through the next time I do a modded playthrough, or my first modded playthrough, to use only wind generators. It's gonna be very difficult. I'm gonna see it's probably gonna be very challenging. You know, 30 watts per steel is very, very nice. However, that it, at most of the time, it's around 10. But that's still better than the geothermal. It's not better than the solar, except the solar's only on half of the day. But anyways, I thought I just wanted to share this. Just a little bit about Power of Weird World. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm Sergeant Kenai, and I'm signing out.